<coughs> Alright, so it's your boy Jay from Smith Brothers Transportation and I'm back. If you already know the drill, please go hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. In this video, I'll be talking about how the cargo van business actually changed my life. Um, I would say only cargo van business, I would say gig up on a whole and being self-employed changed my life. But before we get into that, let's go make some money real quick and come back. Um, in this video, I'll be starting off the day with an easy cater order. It's been $145. Let's get into the video. Alright, so I'm here for the first pickup for the day. Um, easy cater order. It's been 144 for an, um, 154 man. This is for here. Uh, Alright, thanks. Have a good one, alright? Alright, same thing. The arm right here. It's pretty small. Alright, so um, the order is picked up, as you can see, it's going 15 minutes away, so I'm about to make my way to the drop-off location now, so I'll see you guys once I get there. Alright, so I'm here at the drop-off location, I'm going to load up my car real quick. Right here, I'm gonna put this right there. Alright, right, so now I'm going on the ninth floor. Button clock right there, leave the door open so I don't get a ticket. You know that door. Alright, so I'm on the ninth floor now. I do. Okay. Alright, so we should deliver these. You want me to help you pack them out or are you good? Alright. 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 Um, I receive a total of $145. Um, I have another go share to, I have another order to do, so go share. Um, it's picking up in Elizabeth, Jersey, and it's going to Yonkers, New York. It's going 33 loaded miles. Um, I'm in Manhattan now, I have to drive to Elizabeth to go pick the order up. Um, it's taking me 43 minutes to get to the pickup location. Um, 17 dead at miles is paying um, 100 and, um, 176 dollars you know I'm gonna add two to that but that's what I'm getting though 176 dollars um, so it's two pallets they say um, I think I'm picking up from a warehouse so I'm about to go make the pickup now so I'll see you guys once I get there okay, so I'm here by this park right here the ramp is right over here I gotta use the ramp I gotta go inside here. Visitors thing I gotta pay for right here. Yes, I need it all. And then figure the rest out. Mm. Hey, hey. picked up as you could see um i did spend a total of 40 minutes here like since i got here i waited loading time i had to um i didn't have to really actually check team um all i had to do was just uh sign the paperwork get the paperwork done 
that truck um, with the waiting time and drive down there with the traffic guys a whole bunch of truck um, that took 40 minutes there so um, it's actually 40 minutes to get to the drop off location so um, it's going 33 loaded man so I'm gonna see you guys once I get to the drop off location It's completed as you could see um i had to bring my um hand truck to the the third floor we took the elevator though um i did have some wait time at the pickup location and then at the drop off location there wasn't no um pallet jack and there wasn't um, there wasn't a ramp so we had to break down the boxes and then um bring them to the third well i bring i, I made one trip to the third floor he actually bring the rest up so i'll just help him doing him a favor so it could be easier for him um, but with the wait time and um, and all of that, I did end up getting getting a pay of two hundred and fifteen dollars and ninety two cent. Ask me, that's pretty decent. That's not bad. That's great. So um, now I have two orders. I did two orders so far. I did the easy cater for one forty five, and then I did this order for two fifteen. So now I have another easy cater picking up in Manhattan. It's um, paying $59, it's going 0.2 mile. I gotta drive 40 minutes to get to the pickup location. Um, it's actually 10 miles to get there, 40 minutes. So I'm supposed to make my way there to go pick the auto. So um, I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, I'm here at the pickup location. Um, the auto right here. Um, going 0.2 miles, it's paying $59. So, um, just these two bags as you can see. Go to load the one up. Then go make the drop off. We got this socks right there. We got this right here. Not going far, so. As you could see, um, the order is completed. I received a total of fifty-nine dollars. It was pretty easy. Went two blocks away, zero point three miles um it was pretty decent it's not bad um so the for today i actually made a total of 420. um i did three other i did two easy care and then i did the go and i did a go share for 215. so um in this video i'll be talking about how the gig um economy actually changed my life back in 2020 <clears throat> i was working at martin house um, that's when I actually got my first car. I was doing Uber Eats on the side and then somebody introduced me to DoorDash That was in 2020 and then um, I was doing Uber Eats and DoorDash and then somebody had introduced me to Instacart So then I realized Instacart money was bigger. So I was doing Instacart. No, I was I, I was when I was working at the McDonald's a guy there actually introduced me to Instacart. Um, I think his girlfriend was doing Instacart, so the person actually introduced me to it. I did a couple of others, and I realized the money was bigger than Uber Eats and DoorDash. So I was buying more into Instacart and less into DoorDash and Uber Eats. <coughs> so um, I did have an accident in 2021. I was three days before my birthday. Um, I was doing Instacart, and um, like I used to do Instacart part time and work at McDonald's full time. I was a manager there. So um, I did met in an accident. It was on, um, I think it was like February 17. Yeah, it was February 17, 2021. And then um, I met in an accident. I did call my GM and I told her I met in an accident. And she asked me if I'm still coming to work. Like, that is crazy. Like, I don't understand. Like, somebody met in an accident and you're going to ask them, are you still coming to work? You know, so at that point, I actually made up my mind. Like, after I got treated and um, after well that accident, I'm not going back to work. So then I went and got another car and then I actually started doing um, Instacart full time. Um, Cause when I was doing Instacart part time, I was actually making like um, six, seven hundred. It was like the same, around the same or a little bit more than what I was making as a manager. Um, Cause as a manager, I was getting like 
17, I think it was 17, yeah, 17, 17, 50, or around that, yeah. Um, so, um, and on this side, I'm not going back to work because I was making more part time than what I was making full time, you know. So then, after I got well, I went and got another car. Um, uh, I, I was start, I was doing Instagram full time, I was making like 1500, 2000. I was making like the first week after I got my car after the accident I got well I worked I remember it like yesterday I did got my car at Thursday I worked Friday Saturday and Sunday and those three days I made over 700 in the three days so I was looking at it like them I only worked three days and I made over 700 just imagine if I worked seven days so then I actually started working seven days you know and then I was making our own like our own 12 to 1500 and then the pandemic hit once the pandemic hit i think it was around the pandemic time that was busy you know it was the de delivery was busy like uber east doordash instacart because everybody was home so it was like a plus for me i was making anywhere i was making two i was making anywhere from 1700 to 2000 the most i ever make make in a week with instacart was 2400 and it was around the christmas time and i, I used to work seven days and i used to work long hours too I like 10 12 hours a day or uh, sometimes eight yeah around that time but i was making good money so i actually was able to save up enough money and um then instacart actually became slow and i was like watching gig apps on youtube i was watching videos on youtube about a cargo van business because i was thinking like box truck and cargo van business so i was thinking like i didn't want to go over the road so um i was thinking also like like which one is better you know so i was i heard i could make um 500 dollars um anywhere from four to five hundred a day i was like all right if i make 500 every day it would be good but <clears throat> it wasn't um it wasn't as sweet it wasn't as it didn't go as like you know like you hear the, everybody on the youtube be talking about oh i'm making 500 i'm making 400 i'm making six i'm making 700 i thought it was gonna be the same for me but in the beginning of this business it's actually wasn't the same you know like it wasn't the same like uh, so i was watching the videos i was hyped you know like i went to go do research on cargo vans actually got an authority because i was like all right cool my brother was like let's get a box truck i was like all right, cool so um we could get the box truck i could use the cargo for and run the authority until we get the box truck so it's like a scenario like that so it's more of like um i had saved up enough money from instacart um a cargo van and put down like i think it was like five or six thousand um i don't remember i gotta check nothing else but i know it was five or six thousand the van was forty something thousand um i got the loan for five uh forty thousand i think i put the five or six thousand i think the one was 45 or 46 thousand i forget but it was their own it was their own um that um price range with the taxes and everything out the door so um i did that you know i went the van i had the van sitting down for like i think it was a good two weeks yeah and then i actually got approved on log i was doing log um i think my first month doing log i made um I think I made like five or six thousand, I think, around that price. But that wasn't a lot enough to cover the payment, the gas. Like it was just I was just barely getting by like that time. <clears throat> Cause like I didn't have enough app. Um I wasn't doing easy cater. I never had go share. Um but I was just doing log right through. And then actually after I got through with go share, go share was busy, so that actually kinda take a turn in my life. So that was pretty decent also. So um but the van business is pretty decent it's really really great don't get me wrong but at first you're not gonna make all the money you're seeing everybody out here is making because it actually took me a while to actually make my first eight thousand and then it took me another while to make my 10 and see um january i just hit my first ten thousand dollars since i have my cargo van and i've been in the business since june you know so um gig apps kind of really slow but i do have my authority i think i'm gonna start doing some loads i'm gonna do that until i get the box up but um <clears throat> it's a whole bunch of stuff why sometimes i don't be doing loads i just be trying to stay local but like my um my direct booking right now is actually building up so that's what actually kind of helped me to reach the margin like last week i killed it as you can see the video but this week is not so busy for me this week i'm actually at um i'm at two no sorry i'm telling you right now um this week um today is thursday um february 15 i'm at 1344 dollars in four days um monday i made 314 tuesday i made two i made 282 um wednesday i made 420 and then today thursday i made 327 
So last week I, I was killing it, but this week is not so well. Let's see if today's Thursday. So let me see if I could make minimum twenty five hundred with at least what so today with Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. With those three days, I would need um to make the twenty five hundred. I would need to make one thousand one hundred fifty five dollars for the three days. So divided that by three equal. I'd need to make three eighty five. Friday 385, Saturday 385, Sunday to make the 25 for the week. So let's see how that turned out and see how that worked. But yeah, um, being um, I don't really have that. So um, being a being self-employed, it's actually like a great feeling because like working for somebody, I wasn't making like a whole bunch of money per hour. Like working for myself, I'm making like sometimes I make fifty dollars an hour, sometimes I make a hundred dollars an hour, sometimes I make thirty dollars an hour it ranges you know like it ranges so i feel like having this business is actually pretty great but at first to start up costs and like to learn the business and to get around you're not gonna hit like a 10k margin just right away unless you get a contract unless you got certain type of connections no but i didn't really have that connection like my thing is just like um learn along the way while i go i do a lot of research and stuff like that and this video is actually getting long guys so i don't want to keep you out too long but i'm um, having this business actually changed my life i was able to like maximize my earnings you know work whenever i want work what time i want you know so that's actually the greatest thing don't get me wrong the cargo van business is kind of slow now so what's actually keep me up and keep me making money is easy cater easy cater make you can make a lot of money from easy cater and um also my direct book and here and there i'll be doing one and two loads with my authority so that's actually what's keeping me going because like gig apps is really slow really slow these days you know but sometimes it's busy when it do busy i have gig apps like a backup so you know i'll be having like direct shippers direct brokers and stuff so that's what I, that's what actually keep me going guys i hope you all learned something from this video um all the persons that are trying to get into the business please do your research before you get into the business and if you have a car or a suv i feel like you should use your car and learn the business before you actually jump fully into the cargo van business because this gig app is it's um it's up and down but don't get me wrong you can still make a lot of money once you're willing to put the work in you know but take your time to learn the business but um thank you all for watching i really appreciate y'all uh, please don't forget to like subscribe share and leave a comment and like i said Hope you all learned something from this video. Um, so see you guys in the next one.